Hi, I'm Allie and this is Miko. We're going to demonstrate for you how to pill a dog. Um, as a dog owner, there may come a point in time in their lives that you may have to, either if it's a monthly preventative or um, an illness pops up along the way, that you may have to get a pill in your dog. There are different ways of doing this. You may have a dog like Miko who loves treats, so disguising them in a treat is very easy. Um, at home, you can use peanut butter and cheese, <laughs> um, even little pieces of lunch meat, you know, taking into consideration exactly what their illness may be, if those things would affect their stomach or not. Um, there are wonderful little treats called sit and go, sit, called pill pockets. They come in uh, several different flavors. Um, they can encase the pill and hide them and disguise them. Um, most of the time they work wonders for dogs that don't like to take pills, but there are some dogs that are not very fond of it. So I'm going to show you how two ways you can pill your dog at home. And I'm using a pill pocket. There's no pill in it. so. But the first one is as a treat. Miko, you want a treat? Sit. Sit. And of course, he eats it. Alright, come here. The second way is to put the pill in, the dog, in your dog's mouth. What you want to do is to get to the far back of the throat as you can. Take caution. We don't want you to get bit. Um, if you feel un unsure or if you feel like you might, your dog is not going to appreciate that very well, please don't try it at home. Um, you can seek help from your regular veterinarian. Um, to pill a dog at home, if you have to manually pill them, come in, is you take the top of their mouth like this, Take that pill and stick it to the far back of their throat, close the mouth, and rub their throat. You don't want to strangle them, but just gently massaging it um, triggers them to swallow, and they swallow that pill. Um, if you have, like I said, if you have issues, sit, Nico, sit. If you have issues doing this, um, you're all, you're, it's always a good idea to seek help from your veterinarian um, and have somebody show you how to do it. Um, and if you have any further questions, feel free to give us a call at the Animal Hospital Waynesville, 456-9755. <laughs>